Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how can you leave people better than you found them? We've all heard these sayings and quotes before about leave things better than you find them or leave the earth better than you found it. But what about leaving people better than you found them? I'm gonna talk about six ways that you can do that. Some of these are going to apply when you're interacting with strangers or when you're out and about doing errands and others are going to apply with people that you know. And be sure and stay for the sixth one when I describe a way that you can leave someone better without even having contact with them. Number one, you can leave a stranger, somebody that you don't know, better than you found them, meaning before you encountered them, just by giving them friendly eye contact and a warm smile. Have you ever had a day where things are just not going right and you're not feeling good about your day, you're not feeling good about yourself, maybe you just received some bad news and it is just not your day. And then you get in the elevator with somebody or passing somebody on the sidewalk or, or in a hallway and they just make eye contact with you and give you a warm smile. And there's just this silent friendliness from a stranger. And that can just make you feel better about yourself. We have no idea what people are going through. What I'm talking about is you don't have to have a big smile on your face when you see a stranger because that might look a little odd, but you can give them what's called an affiliative smile. It's more of a polite smile. It's a smile that we give people that we don't know well, but it is genuine. And that smile looks like this. And when you give somebody warm eye contact, it means that you are seeing them, you're acknowledging them as another human being, even if you're just passing on the street. The second way that you can leave people better off is by really paying attention to the people who normally, unfortunately, do get ignored. The people that may be in jobs where they're in a position where most of the people just really overlook them and ignore them. One of my friends years ago called those the people in the shadows. They're the people that we just normally don't see and they just don't get acknowledged by most people. So to not only give those kind of people eye contact, warm smile, but also to really treat them with respect. Maybe it's a cashier at a grocery store that they're used to people just not even really acknowledging them at all. Think about the next time you go into a public bathroom and there's a custodian in there to actually say hello to them before they even make eye contact with you. Because a lot of times people like that won't make eye contact with you because they're so used to being ignored. So you be the first one to speak to them. I remember years ago, a cashier at Walmart, I looked at his name badge and I said, thank you, David. He stopped and he looked up at me and he said, you said my name. And I said, yes, well, why are you saying that? And he said, because nobody ever says my name. And it made me realize how many people probably come through and really don't take the time to even stop long enough to use the person's name. When you say someone's name in a friendly manner when they're in a service position, you are showing them respect. The third way you can leave someone better off is by giving them a compliment. Now, I mean a genuine and authentic compliment. Don't just try to think, oh, I'm seeing someone, what can I say to make them feel better about themselves? No, if you really do admire something or like something about them or you want to compliment them on something, then do it. We know how it feels when somebody does that for us. It makes us feel good. You can probably remember compliments that people gave you years ago that they don't even remember that they said, but it was that special and that meaning for you, meaningful for you, either because of what they said or because of the timing of when they said it and you really needed that. Now, a lot of times people fear giving another person a compliment because they're afraid how it's gonna come across, is it gonna sound inauthentic, is it gonna uh, sound like I have a hidden agenda? If your compliment has no hidden agenda, if your compliment really is authentic, then make sure and compliment the person. I've got a video above and in the description below about how to give better compliments.
fourth way you can leave someone better off than when you encountered them. And this is usually when you're in conversation with a person. And that is if they have shared something in the conversation that you can leave some kind of encouraging word or, or phrase to them at the very end, to be able to do that as a precursor to your goodbye to them. So before you actually depart, before you say bye, to bring up that thing that maybe they're worried about or maybe they're not feeling well or maybe they're going through a tough time. If you're a person of faith, to let them know that you'll be praying for them and to actually follow through and do it if you say you're going to. But to just give them an encouraging word before you depart. The next way you can leave someone better off is by doing something nice for them, some kind of nice gesture. Whether it is somebody at the grocery store and they're behind you and you see that they don't really don't have that many items, but they look like they may be in a rush to actually say, hey, why don't you go ahead and go ahead of me? Or you're getting off the elevator and somebody's getting on and their hands are full. Offer to press the floor that they need. A neighbor tells you they're getting ready to go on a vacation and offer to take their trash out or pick up their mail or pick up packages on their porch while they're gone. Something that really doesn't take a lot of effort, but can really go a long way in making their day a little better. So number six, I promised you that this is a way that you can leave somebody better off than before. And you don't have to even have any contact with the person. And that is the nice gesture that I talked about before is doing it when somebody doesn't even know you're doing it. So this would be something like you're walking in your neighborhood and, and somebody dropped a piece of trash in your neighbor's yard. Pick up the trash as you're walking by. Or you're getting ready to leave a restaurant and you take the time to stack your dishes neatly and clean up any food on your table just to make it easier for the person who's going to be bussing the tables. Once again, things like this, you're not going to have any contact with the person, but you are making that person's day a little better, even if they never find out about it, like the trash in the neighbor's yard. But what it does is it actually makes you feel better on the inside because you start to become this type of person that is just out there doing good in the world and you don't have an agenda. You're not doing it for any kind of praise. You're just doing it just because. Now, believe me, if I'm making all this look very easy, this is not easy for me. I have to be really intentional. And believe me, I fail all the time. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because this is just more on top of mind for me, me now. And I'm working on myself in this area. So I thought that I would share this with you and I hope it's been helpful. If you have liked this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and I hope you'll share it with someone else.